Okay, so chi squared test for independence. We've got our data, we've gone out, we've sorted out our null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis is that gender, uh, sorry, uh, color, her t shirt color choice is independent, independent of gender. Okay, um, we've got it, we've gone out, we've collected the data, we've put it into a table. Here's the table of the observed. This is the observed. Data. We've used the totals, the constraints to work out um, our degrees of freedom, etc. And that allows us to then compare it to a particular distribution, chi squared distribution. Right. But is it what we're what we need to do now is we are going to compare these values in our so our observed values, we're going to compare them against an expected. Okay, so these these numbers we can predict. Mathematically, we have that ability to but like use the probability to work out how likely these events are. So this number, 48, should it have been 48? Um, should the females been 35? And if we, how far away from the expected are these numbers? Are they significantly different or are they only a small amount? Okay, so we're not really interested in the numbers in white. Now we're interested in our totals. Okay, so we need these things to work out our expected frequencies because now we're going to start doing some calculations towards working out our chi square critical value. Okay, so we had 83 people, uh, sorry, yeah, 83 people who chose black t shirts. Okay, there are 150 of them were male, 150 of them were female. If we're looking at the probability of getting a male wearing a black t-shirt in an ideal world, we would be looking at 83 times by 150 divided by the total number of people. So 83 times by 150 is 41.5. In an ideal world, that's what we would expect. In this case, we've also got 150 females, so we would expect the number to be the same. The expected number of females wearing black t-shirts, we would expect to be statistically the same. Male white, what would they expect that we would expect? 58 times by 150 divided by 300 of these people to be choosing that. That comes out as 29. Again, female numbers, same as males, 29. That in this case because we've got the same number of males and females males that chose a red t-shirt well we've got 75 people that chose a red t-shirt we've got 150 of those in total divide that by 300 and we get 37.5 37.5 also down here in an ideal mathematical predictable world everything is nice and dandy so blue male 84 times by 150 Divide that by 300 gives us a total of 42. 42. Okay, so that's how we go about calculating our expected frequencies. Where in the next video, we'll have a look at what we do with these and how we're going to calculate a chi square value.